today I'm reviewing the e.l.f. Cosmetics Holy Hydration Face Cream. Uh, and really quick, I just want to say I purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if that's something you're into, like, subscribe, uh, share the video, check out the links below, or check out my Patreon community. So this is a lineup from e.l.f., their Holy Hydration line. They've got cleanser, toner, face cream, sunscreen. Uh, this is the fragrance-free version of the Holy Hydration Face Cream, and it's got a lot of um, it's a great dupe for a lot of more expensive products, and I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, yeah, it's a good dupe for some more expensive products. So, um, so they say Elf Cosmetics Holy Hydration Face Cream is a lightweight, fragrance-free moisturizer that nourishes and plumps skin while delivering lasting hydration. I'm currently using it today under my sunscreen, so... Uh, anyway, on to the review, and uh, they've got some, uh, good things worth mentioning in here. So, my first criteria is packaging, and if you've seen some of my reviews, you, most of you know I'm not a big fan of jar packaging. It's just messier, it exposes some of the good ingredients to air and light, which isn't great for them. However, it's super affordable product, so I kind of get it. But anyway, I'm not crazy, but it is a thicker product too, so it might not work as well in a squeeze tube, but... Look at what Costa X do with their snail cream. They took it from this messy, sloppy jar and put it into a, to a tube, and it went from a average product just to an amazing product in terms of how easy it is to use. So anyway. Okay, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those, and it's also fragrance-free. Just make sure to purchase the fragrance-free version. Otherwise, the regular version has fragrance in it. So if you're sensitive to scents, get the fragrance-free version. Uh, in terms of the manufacturing location, ELF products are, they're designed, they, what they say on the bottle is designed in the U.S. but made in China. I'm not exactly, I guess design means formulated. But uh, anyway, so they're, they're made in China, which, I mean, I have a feeling ELF, where they're made, has kind of a, probably a big lab and things and lots of checks and things. But anyway, it's still kind of a risk. I mean, uh, when it turn when it comes to, Things made in China, typically almost a lot of medicines and things are made there, but there have been some things where they've been lax in terms of like dog food that poison a lot of dogs and things, but um, a lot of that's been a long time ago, but it's still still something to be aware of. Uh, okay, in terms of the texture, it's got a very thick, creamy texture. So uh, there we go. But a little bit of it tends to go a long way. It is very thick. Uh, it absorbs pretty quickly, which is nice, and I, I tend to apply this uh, over a serum, and it really feels nice. I like using this in my daytime routine. You can use it in either daytime or evening or both. However, I have found with certain sunscreens, this tends to pill a little bit, probably because of maybe the sodium hyaluronate in here. I'm not sure, but not every sunscreen it pills under, but certain ones, it maybe it's just very thick. Or the combination of sodium hyaluronic and a sunscreen and a cream can be a problematic. But um, otherwise, it soaks in pretty quickly and nicely and sets to a kind of a natural, slightly matte finish. Uh, and works pretty nicely over some vitamin C serums, which is nice. Certain moisturizers, uh, if they're over vitamin C, can foam up or sometimes uh, not end up looking or feeling as nice. But this one works pretty nicely. Um, so... Uh, the one thing I will note is if you have very dry skin or the weather where you live is very dry, you're going to want to apply this over a serum that gives it some extra boost of moisture because um, it's, it is super hydrating, but not quite high because just because of the finish and things, it doesn't feel as moisturizing as some people with very dry skin might like. So if you apply it over a serum, then it kind of alleviates that little bit of an issue. But um, anyway, so it looks and has a really nice finish to it. So... Okay, I'll talk about the ingredients in one second here. Okay, in terms of animal testing, this is cruelty-free as well as vegan. So that's great news for um, everybody in general. In terms of performance, so I kind of touched on it. When you apply this alone, it, it's not quite as hydrating as you would think with the name Holy Hydration. But if you apply this uh, over a serum, it makes it a lot better. Although, if you have oilier skin, I think this might be really nice in terms of the finish and things and how quickly it soaks in. I think it might be even better for oilier skin types. So, um, anyway, so I prefer to use this one during my morning routine 
because uh, in my morning routine, I like to go simple. But in my evening routine, I focus on anti-aging, peptides, things like that, which makes it quite nice. So um, anyway, very nice product. The price you can't beat. So this is a full size, 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces, retails for $13. You can't beat that. Almost, it's almost impossible to beat that price. Maybe except for like Geek and Gorgeous with their Happy Barrier. That's probably about the same price and a little bit better packaging. Okay, in terms of the ingredients, we don't have an overly long list, but we've got a few main ingredients. Niacinamide, anti-acne, skin brightening. We've got some humectants, trehalose, sodium hyaluronate. We've got squalane, antioxidant, skin identical ingredient. Uh, Matrixyl 3000, both of, the, both of them. Matrixyl 3000 is a combination of two peptides used together. Uh, cell communicating ingredient that's shown to help with wrinkles in terms of depth, length, and density. Uh, it's also been uh, promising in terms of helping with texture, tone, and then skin elasticity. So it's really nice to see that in a $13 product because I've been doing some research just on peptides lately. Uh, mostly I've been doing research on copper peptides, but they're freaking expensive. Um, so I totally now understand more why some of those products with copper peptides are so expensive because a little vial of the blue copper peptides is hundreds of dollars, so... Uh, okay, and then last but not least, we've got Panthenol, which is pro-vitamin B5, skin soothing and wound healing. Okay, in terms of the it factor, this one's nice. It has some more expensive dupes. The Keys Soul Care Skin Transformation Cream is nearly identical to this. Uh, and if you don't know it, Keys Soul Care is made by Elf. So it makes sense. But a lot of people don't know that. I didn't really know that until somebody commented and mentioned it, and then I dug a little deeper and course they are uh, another one the naturium multi-peptide cream is a very very close dupe and the costa baja peptide cream is another very very similar product so uh, in terms of the price of all three of those this one outdoes every single one of them probably in by half so it seems to work well for most people with the exception of those with the most dry skin if you have very dry skin this might not work as well for you as it does for others my tip is to use it over a good serum, or if you're using an evening routine, use it under a thick sleeping mask, and that will help. Um, so there are some people have mentioned some sensitivity around the eye area from this. I didn't have that experience at all, but overall, it's a really nice fragrance-free, affordable cream with some nice bonus peptides and soothing ingredients. Uh, it's a little iffy under uh, certain sunscreens, depending on how many other layers you apply. So I mean, so after I apply this in my morning routine. So I'll apply my vitamin C serum, then I'll apply this, then I'll apply my sunscreen, then I apply my foundation, then I apply my powder, and I think perhaps it's too many layers for that. So keep that in mind. If you use a lot of layers and full makeup and things, you might have a little bit of pilling, which is always a trade-off for something. 13 bucks might not be as elegant as the Proteiny at 70. So anyway, Keep those in mind. Interested hearing from you guys if you've tried this. Oh, I should give the score. So with a 10 being a perfect score, I have this one an 8. It's got a lot to like about it. Um, the jar packaging seems to be a bigger, the bigger annoyance. But otherwise, it's a good product overall. So, uh, okay. So if you've tried this out, leave a comment. And I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.